You guys, I just got some fries from McDonald's. And a hot chocolate. A small fry. A small fry. Large hot chocolate. Almost $7. Mm -hmm. My car just showed me that my tire is low. I'm like doing more eating than talking. I hate when I leave the house when I'm just so hungry. And then I'll be spending $7 on a fry and a drink. But anyways, my car, I just that my tire is low. And it's so cold outside. And my indicator is doing the whole tick, 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 like it's um dying. So I have to go get that fixed. And I was like, you know what? I need to do this first, warm myself up, get some hot chocolate before I even think about going in the cold and pumping my tire right now. Car problems in the winter when you live in Canada are the rudest. They're the rudest because even right now I'm just so cold to even go out there and pump this tire in the freezing cold. But I was like, let me just warm myself up with this hot chocolate right now before I even tackle that coldness. I'm not even ready for winter, guys. Mentally, mm -mm. it's annoying. But the way I look at life right now is that there's so much going on, you know? There's so much going on that even if you say, I'm just gonna think about myself. You can't really. Because a lot of things that are happening, it's like it's affecting everybody as a whole. But then when you're going through other things that add on top of it, and you're just having a rough time, it's like it makes it so much harder. You know, I really came on here today because I don't know. I just felt like we don't really know what people are going through. Like you could be in front of your friend's face and just never really know that they're dealing with things. You could be in front of your family and they just have no clue. And then you just end up in this space and you're like how do i get out of this you know with me i just put myself there you know i've been dealing with things you know and i'm the type of person where i just i find myself i sense energies you know i don't know how you want to take that what i do I've always been the quiet one. I'll more sit back and observe. But at the same time, I will snap, you know? Um, but usually I'll snap if it's like I'm giving my all or I'm trying to show you a thing and you're just not seeing it and I see that it's going to lead me in a direction that is trying to hurt me like for example i just feel like you know what i'm going through right now that there's just certain people that would be around me that would even be sent from other people trying to bring me down trying to just ruin my character because even what, what i've been going through um, with my brother in particular me having to deal with that I noticed that 
the enemy will do things and will send people in my life or just have people in my life that are trying to disrupt me disturb my peace because yes i now with what happened i noticed that i'm very strict with myself if something is happening that i don't like i'm gonna call it out straight like i'm gonna call it out i'm gonna tell you what it is like you guys watch selling sunset and at first i was like chriselle is so mean you know why the heck is she talking to people like this before they get cold oh my she's such a mean girl you know the watching the reunion um they asked amanza what she thinks about michelle because she said she changed and usually even amanza sometimes she just and she's swaying back and forth i'm just not sure but she did say something like this like Chriselle, she didn't change she's just more strict she more knows what she wants or something along that line so if she sees something she's gonna call it out and i did notice that with her because sometimes you just go through so much in life that you're just done like you're just tired you know people don't think that people can get tired of their bs and sometimes you're just in situations where you just have to keep putting up with BS because of the ties that you have to these people. Whether that be a business tie, financial tie, kids, you know, that you have to be careful who you be having kids with because certain people would just use those kids to just tie down your ass. Like they would just use those kids to just have you in a position where the decisions that you make will just ruin your own life, you know, realistically you can have a friend that you're doing business with and because there's money on the line your house on the line your bills on the line you just stay in it put up with it but in my case i look at the way how your mind is set up you can come out of certain situations it really has a lot to do with you you know it how you come out of even a dark situation has a lot to do with your mind it has a lot to do with how you do redirect things it has a lot to do with the people that you have in your life about the people that you don't cut out of your life because certain people especially like narcissistic people which you know i ain't getting into all that today but just people like that they're just tied to like certain demons okay they have their demons fighting with your good self and they're just mad they're mad because they have no life okay they're the type of people who are just miserable and they just want you in a misery with them they just want you to stay in there and then like someone like for example me who be in like a situation like that i notice like if you take yourself away from that you'll start to learn how to love yourself because if it's one thing i always hear people say like you have to love yourself first and for the longest time i'm just like literally like how how do you put yourself first and love yourself first because it's like you want to or at least i want to i want to love myself but for the longest time i really just didn't know how <laughs> like i didn't know how to really be like it's me first before that situation before that person i didn't know what it looked like or what it felt like to let certain people and their behaviors and what they're dealing with go and just focus on me because sometimes your emotions get the best of you you're afraid of like losing certain people you're afraid of change me afraid of change but i i learned that change is so good that you don't even know how to love yourself you know but it's like i had to go through the worst and you wonder you question god or at least i question god like why what, what do you mean i had to go through that in order to see certain things and then you wonder like are you to blame you know but i had to really search deep 
you know and be like from what i see it things will just align a certain way events will just happen a certain way and a certain pattern and just go at some weird timing just to have that click happen to you i had to go through like major storms where i'm just in this dark place to really stick up for myself and notice that yeah i'm gonna be more stern i'm gonna be more sharp or I'm going to seem that way because I choose me. I choose you, but I choose me first. I got to do this for me, for my peace, for my future, for my kids. I got to choose me first. And in order to do that, I may feel sad. I may make people think that I'm a meanie. I may come across selfish where I'm really just not like you know you're really not selfish you're just in a state of I need a fight for me it's one of those things where you just have to like start over you know it's okay to start afresh start a new find your new path find your new journey and forgive yourself sometimes you're just stuck in the guilt of being in a dark place for so long that you just can't get out of the dark place you let pride and you let just feelings build up or you're just so mad like i was so mad at myself for just staying in certain situations but i have to tell myself it's okay to start over again and create a new story for me in order for when i'm in the tunnel where i'm in that dark place where we're just on this path of destruction with people i say people because people have a lot to do with the way your life goes your environment how you were brought up your parents your friends they have a lot to do with how you go about life okay or at least that's how I see it. This is how I see it. And um, sometimes you just have to get a hold of yourself and just get rid, or not even get rid, just reevaluate your relationships with people and just put yourself at the forefront. And don't put yourself last in it and just say, you know what? I can control my feelings. I'm okay with it as long as they're okay. I'll make sure their feelings are taken care of. It doesn't do you any good. You just That's how you end up in that, that dark place and you stay there. But I notice now that I'm more strict with myself. I don't really care what people think about me putting myself at the forefront you'll start noticing the scumbags around you and they will be taunted they will be haunted and i realized like wow look look what look what i went through but look what i'm seeing like really i was tolerating that really i let these losers have me stuck in this place because they're miserable because because they're haunted and they have no vision and you have a vision some of you have a vision people are just mad eh? people are just mad because they can't have you the way they want you because they can't control situations and they just be haunted they just be mad at your life because they don't know how to deal they will even have the most of things but they're just so focused on you that they can't even see it overall i just look at it like you are the answer to a lot of your problems i am the answer to a lot of my problems and the way i choose to accept things the way i choose to deal with things the way that i react to things I reacted to things terribly in my life. I know that. I gave things too much energy. I gave things 
too much time. I don't want to do that no more. Because I realize they, like, they want you to do that. They want you to entertain their nonsense. And it's dumb. You know, it's really dumb. You have to entertain your purpose. You got to entertain. And I say this a lot because people be living out there and just sitting on their purpose because other people want them to. Just sit on it. Just leave it. Your purpose is so important to you. And people don't want you to see that. They don't want you to shine. I've had my own auntie. I never even shared this story on my channel yet. But long story short, went to Jamaica and she's supposed to be mad at me about something. Honestly, because I did curse her out on the phone for getting at my mom. All them times I was younger and I'm sticking up for my mom, you know, because this lady's been annoying. And you would think that she's mad at me for that. But while in the situation, she said things that made me know she was just jealous of me just being there. She was upset because she thought that people would see me over her daughter strange you know i had my brother standing right beside me you think you're better than my daughter you're coming out here think you're better than her like it was so strange but sometimes god puts god puts you in situations to show you that people just want to hold you down they just don't want you to see your purpose you know she hit me in my face that day okay there was the knife and her friends I'm there. I just had to, I had like a lot going on in my brain. Cause yes, I didn't want to knock her out, you know? But I had to think about it. I'm in a country that I'm not really used to. I don't know what she has plans with her friends them. It's a big machete here. And even though my uncle and my brother are here, it's just too much. And like, my dad and his brother already fought in that same yard like these family curses need to break like you're not going to try to fight me too in the same yard that my dad was in hospitals for months while my mother is pregnant like we're not we're not doing that again for foolishness but i've had things like that happen to me i've had girls in high school walking around with scissors wanting to cut off my hair because they think that's the reason why people want to be my friend or why i like shine or you know they don't want people to see your purpose because jealousy is drastic. People die over jealousy. Believe it or not, jealousy is is drastic. People will be jealous of you. And for the longest time, like I I've never saw me. I I don't see me because I've been led to believe by wicked terrible people that I'm not there even when I am there. I'm led to believe by my own aunt that I shouldn't be at my grandma's funeral because she doesn't want me to be seen. But now that I've been through things that have really hurt me, I've had to experience my brother who truly loved me, even though we've had our ups and downs, but truly as a little girl, be just taken away by wicked people. It showed me that I need to live for me while I'm here and not let wicked people, bad people hold me back from seeing who I am. I am my own light at the end of the tunnel. You can be your own light if you just make up your mind to be. I'm not saying you have to be in like a bad situation to realize things, but align yourself with people who will help you see your purpose who will help you see your vision who will help you get out that tunnel if you're in a bad 
time or going through something that they show you that they're there for you even by the smallest things of just bringing you dinner because they know you're too down and out to cook like you know stuff like that I thought I was alone through all of this because I even had family live close to me but nobody was really there for me during this time nobody nobody you know and I met family for the first time who flew over from like the UK I never met I, I've never met cousins I've never met come to support me and I remember seeing them come to the door I just started crying it was so overwhelming because to me I'm like they must really care because you came all the way here to make sure I'm good you don't even know me but I heard about you on the phone and stuff but it meant so much to me and like those people oh I will do anything for them because I see that they came all the way for me they mean something special to me because to me God sent them to show me that I'm not alone in this tunnel I'm gonna help you fight and get out of it right now it seems so dark and so lonely but I am sending help Tosh and I thank them a lot I would do anything for them you know so I don't know I hope this reached the right people and that nobody took anything the right, wrong way like this is just from my experience you know I'm just seeing myself I'm just noticing who I am if you've been on my channel you see I've done different different things on my channel because in the midst of it I still didn't even know myself I'm just learning myself so if you're here try to hang in there with me okay I want to make things make sense to you guys I want to build a community with you guys a safe place because I feel like for a majority of my life I wasn't in a safe space and I want this to be a safe space I want to thank you guys for rocking with me I do if you've made it this far in the video leave a green heart just so I know and I'll send you one back I say green because green is my favorite color and it's more like nature but yeah I'm about to go and pump this tire I have the sniffles already you guys probably see my nose like I don't know if it's dripping it feels like it is I'm just too cold but anyways guys thank you for being here thank you for supporting me it means the world not fixing the indicator right now because I'm even too cold to find a mechanic or anything to fix that for me even if I could do it myself like it's just way too cold like I even wish there was like I didn't have to come on my car to even pump this tire right now. But I'm going to warm up the car a bit. I'm going to have some more of this hot chocolate. And I will see you guys real soon. Love you guys. Bless up. Nourish your bodies. Um, be good to yourself. Okay? And if you're in a dark place, just like what I do, I pray. I pray and I try to understand what God is telling me. I feel like he sends me little signs. And it's like, if your mind is right, like if my, if my mind is right, I can pay attention. I can see those things. So just have a clear headspace as much as you can and you can get out you can get out of the, the tunnel you can get out of that bad place you gotta believe in you you know i'm so strict of myself be a little strict with yourself you know hold your chest up you know do what you gotta do be a little bit stern if you got to you know you gotta you gotta do it sometimes but yes i will see you guys soon let me know in the comments though, what you guys want to see if you watch my videos and you're just like yo girl why haven't you done this in a while like or why you haven't done that or we want to hear more about that or we want to hear you talk about this because you talked about that like let me know and i will do my best for you guys you know it's just even better that way i love you guys take care bye <laughs>